I'd just like, if I can, share a thought about this uh, who owns the data question, because in statute, it's pretty clear. So the Office of Civil Rights says a patient's data belongs to the patient. Not only that, but you should be able to get your data and a time and method of your choosing, and it should be at little or no cost. So that's pretty clear from a regulatory perspective. The problem is we're making a shift not only as, as caregivers in society, but we're also making a shift as members of society. So. As we looked at the landscape, there are only two states in the country uh, that line up from a statutory perspective. There are over 20 states in the country that say that the patient's medical record belongs to the care provider. If you talk to many patients, I think it's their expectation when they go to receive care that their caregiver has a complete uh, 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 gathering of their records for them to receive the care that's provided. There are only a few small sectors in our country, and, uh, and the military may be one, where the soldier is expected to show up to a duty station with their medical records in hand or with a folder. At least that's what they used to do 20 years, years ago when I was in the Army. Uh, but the point on it is that um, it's a cultural shift. And I've heard many people speak uh, about this, and, and the concept may be that in some instances it's a shared record, where the expectation is if I've engaged in a doctor or patient relationship with you, my expectation is if I've shared my data back to your trust point, that the provider has some responsibility that continues to guard, protect that data. Mm -hmm. By the same token, if a patient wants their data for their personal use, to share for research, to look for a second opinion, it's pretty clear that it's the patient's right to that data set. Um, we, we were able to look um, at some survey data pretty recently that says we're turning the curve on some of it. Most hospitals now uh, allow patients to view that data electronically. Mm -hmm at least have the capability for that. About nine in 10 hospitals have the ability for patients to view and download that data. And about seven in 10 hospitals have the ability to view, download, and transmit that data. And that's a pretty big increase, almost a seven-fold increase over just a, a short number of years since 2012. It used to be 10% allowed that activity. So we're getting the capability in place. There's still barriers that we're working through in terms of making sure that providers get that message, making sure that patients know that it's their right to ask for that information. And we've, we've done some work with the Office of Civil Rights in that space, but, but it's, still a, it's still work to be done, just as you've uh, underscored. Okay.